everybody let's jump right into it we're gonna do a what sold video today this covers everything we sold Friday Saturday and Sunday I did not get to ship out but a few things Friday morning we've been working on a big Nike deal and clothing deal that we bought uh, kind of all at the same time this is on Nike and Adidas clothing <laughs> so we got all that we picked that stuff up on Friday as well um, but we're going to get into what I sold on eBay and on Facebook Live Auctions. The Facebook Live Auctions were last Tuesday and last Thursday. I sent out invoices on Friday for both auctions. Uh, that way everybody could combine shipping. We did a total that we've been paid for so far of $1,638. You guys will see that. That stuff is all laid out on the table right now. We did a total on eBay from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of $5,318.25, giving us a grand total of $6,956.25. So let's get into it. First we have lobby cards. So these are eight card lobby card sets. There are eight color stills, eight by 10 lobby cards in a lot. I sold these by the lot. So you, each one of these plastic sleeves is a full set. Um, at my auction, I needed to make space. So I auctioned these off starting at $5 a tray lot. Uh, there's probably 20 to 25 sets per tray. This particular tray brought $20. This person also purchased from our Playboy auction. All of this, as you guys know, a lot of eBay is getting ready to and get rid of the adult stuff so we decided to sell off all of our adult stuff just to make space in the warehouse so this buyer bought all of these items for a total of 160 dollars we sold this stack of playboys there's actually two lots there it was a total of 36 dollars one stack of playboys i'm i know what i can't show so i'm trying not to show anything that we're not supposed to this stack brought 20 dollars we had a, another buyer who bought a tray of um, lobby cards, which had some really cool Hanna-Barbera Heidi Song lobby cards and another really good one for $34 and then a group of Playboys for an additional $12. We had a person purchase six lots, I believe. It was either five or six lots for a total of $110 shipped of Playboys and adult magazines right there we had another person purchase five lots five tray lots of lobby cards color stills whatever you want to call them from Care Bears movie American Dream and his total was $160 shipped another single order $32 for this lot of lobby cards Another single order, this slot was $104. This was actually two lots of lobby cards, one for 40 and one for 50. Uh, had bad boys in it, and the other ones were like Hanky Panky with uh, Gene Wilder and Housekeeping and a few other well-known movies. We had another person purchase five lots of lobby cards for a total of $222 shipped. Uh, we have a person who purchased two lots of lobby cards for a total of $54 shipped. Another double order that was $64 shipped. And the order on the bottom was $20 plus $10 shipping, $30 shipped. In the back, we have another large group of adult magazines. That lot sold for $230 shipped. It was a bunch of lots. Uh, there's about 10 to 12 magazines per lot that was shipped. I actually already packed this order. It was two rock and roll posters and a group of art magazines. Uh, the total on that order was $70. We sold this really cool store display from Robertson Mincemeat. It's uh, English with a gollywog on it. It is a die cut cardboard display. Sold all in, shipped for $64. And then last item we sold on Facebook that we've been paid for so far is this lot of adult magazines, and the total was $52 shipped. So guys, I'm going to uh, cut out and go over into eBay. We're going to be pulling eBay. I'll add that into this video. 
but this is just to show you guys it was a almost seven thousand dollar weekend and week um, if you include my Facebook auctions so if you work hard you can play hard you can buy a bunch of stuff we're gonna bring you the eBay stuff just coming up right now four hours later we have now got to the eBay stuff we've got everything packed from Facebook um, we had three orders on Amazon so those got packed that's all done and ready so now we are working on shipping our eBay as you can see here we have 124 orders for a total of five thousand five hundred and twenty five dollars and fifty six cents that does eBay is a little weird about this that doesn't show that includes the shipping uh, that we charged so, you know, the total is probably a lot less than that because if we average $7 on an item times 124 items, you're about $1,000 off of that. But this is just to show you guys because I can't show you each and every item. Uh, it would take up a huge amount of space, but I will kind of scroll through. You can see the numbers. <laughs> a fireman glass for $16. Most of our press photos... We have them listed at $17 or best offer, so we take offers on some. There's a few that are sold for a little more, um, but the majority of them are $17. And then we take offers of generally $11, $12, sometimes $10 if they're buying multiples. just kind of depends. We have movie posters that we have listed at $30 and $35, in a lot of cases up to $75 a piece. We take offers above twenty on most of the thirty dollar ones, twenty five ish for the thirty five dollar ones, etc. There's a Days of Thunder for twenty dollars that we sold. There's more press photos. I'm just kind of going through the list, and then I will try to show you what we have on the table. Everything has been pulled, and my wife Kim is over there packing currently, so I will show you guys her. We just recently started selling clothing. And, you know, we're doing all right with it. So here's a Ralph Lauren men's suit, jacket and wool. It's a 41 regular, so it's about a large, like it's right below a large, so it's a medium. So it's a bigger size medium for $53.99. Government reports, we have 100,000 of these in my warehouse, not listed yet. We have about 15,000 of them listed. Uh, they're just a consistent seller. I think we have them on at $22 a piece for most of them. They deal with Civil War, Revolutionary War. Uh, the years I have are 1805 to 1905, and some of them are one sheet of paper out of a book that we, we actually take apart and sell because somebody who collects Civil War doesn't care about, you know, a building being built in Alaska or about... Um, you know, the post office in Chicago needing money. So we take those reports apart and sell them individually. Try to get you guys a little bit closer there. Here's another uh, Snowy Mountain women's cardigan. Sold for $28.04. I had sent out an offer on that. We have some sports cards. I have a huge collection of Notre Dame cards, including thousands. Um, there's probably about, a, there's probably about 1,500 autographed cards that came out so we have a bunch of those listed here's a silent film era 1917 letterhead advertising movie heralds and then again more photos so i'm trying to skim you guys down through the photos because i don't want you to get too bored but as far as what sells proving connection uh, seems like we've been selling quite a bit of that these dresses were brand new with tags uh, i think retail on them is about 180 so that one sold for $71.39 plus shipping for a total of $87.60. As government reports, we generally get about $15 to $20 a piece for those. Lamp glass, I have thousands of pieces. We sell replacement panels with free shipping at $10. Cost us $3.80 to ship. The box is about $0.50, cents, so we make about $5 per panel on those. And I sell probably at least $1,000 worth a month, if not more. Uh, another government report. We got glossy press photos. We sold an Ashton Drake Gallery's White Christmas. It's a little Christmas tree and doll set. I sold that for $50. I believe it's going to Canada. 
So here's more government reports. Try not to scroll through too fast. Just showing you guys the computer screen. Then we actually had a good weekend for rock and roll concert posters. Um, I had made a deal and sold off about 3,000 pieces of the stuff I had ones and twos of. And those are... Um, those are all off of eBay. I've already pulled down those eBay listings. So I sold those privately, sold about 3,000 posters to one guy this past weekend. Um, you know, it was very beneficial for me. Frees up SKUs, uh, frees up space in the warehouse. The 1964 program. And more photos so if you guys are ever out and you see big stacks of press photos i know don the auction professor just actually talked about press photos recently in one of his last videos this is to show you guys we have a hundred thousand press photos listed um, out of our hundred and sixty thousand listings and you know we sell them every single day we sell 30 or 40 at an average of 10 to 15 dollars a day you know, it's two 200 to 500 dollars a day income off of just photographs off a piece of paper that don't take up a huge amount of space because we've learned how to store them correctly. We sold a 1960s little pennant uh, from Alsace, France for $28. Sorry if I'm shaking, I'm trying to hold this and hit the keys at the same time on the keyboard. So a Soundgarden Mark Arminsky poster for $33. I took that offer on it. Here is a Area A women's blouse sold for $24.64. Here's more photos, government reports. Again, photos and government reports. Here's another poster we sold for $20. Buckethead. Those are signed and numbered. We sold a second one of these. These arms are snakes. Um, with mouth of the architect. Sold that one for $13. It is signed and numbered. We took an offer on it. I think I have those on at $20. So, oops, sorry, skip some. Movie poster, Return to Oz. We sold that one for $50. And more lamp glass. We get about, like I said, about $10 a panel for it. That person bought two panels with free shipping. This was a cool thing right here. This is art, artist William Ressler, so he's from Pennsylvania, did a charity event in, uh, for 1987, football Penn State versus Florida, the Florida Hurricanes. Um, they had, I'm trying to think of the quarterback for Florida at the time, but Penn State actually won the game. So William Ressler got together with Penn State, and for charity, they created 1987... I believe it's 1987. Of these artist drawings, he does he does a lot of stuff very similar to like uh, Leroy Neiman, but sports and then localized Bucks County type stuff. You can see that one I sent in to JSA had it authenticated. It is signed by four football players. Is it three three football players or four football players? I don't even remember anymore. Um, but I have a quantity of these. I actually got them from the director. Uh, that did the charity so we have probably I probably own a large majority of the print run I took an offer 225 sorry you guys gotta hear the airplane going by but we're right near the airport um, so I took an offer of 225 on that it cost me about 60 bucks for the authentication but I generally sell them without the JSA authentication for 200 I had this one on at 325. I just went ahead and took the offer because we're trying to take care of getting ready for some other large deals that we're doing. Uh, two vintage Staff and Sire uh, Liberty Blue Betsy Ross transferware dishes. Sold those for $12 with free shipping. They're really small little dessert bowls. An Orvis uh, Dope Kit. Dop. Dop Kit. It's a little nylon bag we sold that for nineteen dollars and fifty four cents it's brand new with tags here's two really cool things same guy bought both a 1910 going to the fair 10 wind up sold for eight hundred dollars 
a German 1910 Zulu ostrich cart racer. Sold for $750. So those are definitely bullets. If you guys ever see turn of the century, those are like 1900 to 1920s, early 30s maybe. Um, they bring good money, especially if they're by Lehman, so they're German. So here's Peruvian Connection, again, sold for $75.99 for a sweatshirt. Another rock and roll concert, sold for $15. Here is a Army Duffel Bag by Rothko, sold for $22.99. We might have sold that one a little cheap. Another football card autographed, sold for $14. This Pamela McCoy women's jacket which i will show you guys i have it sitting behind me sold for 76.49 more glass panels this person bought six i took an offer of was it 750 a piece something like that for 42 dollars for six of them it cost me about 13 dollars to ship so i'll make about 30 dollars on those a uh, buju banton rock and roll concert poster sold for 30 dollars a pair of Stanley Blacker men's loafers sold for $28.99, and those are in worn condition. A Carol Little gray floral knee length v neck kimono sleeve type dress, an A line dress, sold for $21.24. And Radiohead rock and roll concert poster sold for $25. A lot of 16 Colonial Williamsburg. Gold finish little ornaments sold for $40. I took an offer of $40. I had them on at $50. A one-piece Monokini Racerback with Sailboats logo sold for $27.99. Now, we do use Sailhound to create our listings as far as the clothing goes. Um, I've noticed they're not very good with vintage stuff, so I raise the prices um, generally from what it comes back at from Sailhound, and I've sold many more items by raising the prices and checking my own comps on vintage items. Their newer stuff they're actually pretty on, on point with, so we leave it. So, two Ringling Brothers photos from Allentown, uh, an Allentown parade from 1956, sold for $29. Another concert poster brought $55 from 2004. And that's pretty much it on that part of showing you the video. We'll show you guys. This here is the Pamela Coy. You can see we numbered it number 72. So this is jacket number 72 in our inventory. It is a pretty, you know, I, I believe it's a faux fur. But it has the original tags and labeling. Talked about Pamela McCoy. All of her stuff. It is a pretty jacket. So that will ship out today. And then we have everything else over here pulled. Uh, this is the actual tube that JSA sent us the poster back in. We're just going to relabel it and use the tube. That way we're helping the environment and not uh, using extra material if we don't have to. Also, it saves us on cost. You can see here these are the glass panels. This is a set of six, and these are all singles and doubles of the glass panels that we sell. These are the government reports. This is how we number them so that we know where they're at. They go into filing cabinets based on who's listing these. This would have been one of my listers, Tanya, at the time. Um, and then these would be Anthony. This is Tracy or Tony. Uh, these are Tony. That's why I have, I have Tracy's as X's because I don't want to mix them up with Tony. So it depends on who's doing it that way. If something's messed up, I know who did it and we can try to fix it. These are the concert posters. They look a lot better here than they do on the screen, but they're beautiful. And there is the helmet one. Here's the flag, the Williamsburg ornaments, the 1917 silent film era letter. These are the two big dollar items. So this was a total of like 1500-ish or 15.50 for the two pieces. There's the Wizard of, or the Return of Oz poster. I think she's actually packing some of the other posters right now. Pete's Dragon. Pete's Dragon. She's packing. So sliding from Centennial. Here's the doll. 
and then when we do the clothing um, every bit of clothing is put into a box the box is lettered so this is box AO this was number one so when she takes pictures and sends it into Sailhound we instantly inventory it that's included with what we send in to them that way when it comes back to us it's just in that box and then when it sells we can just go pull it this is in box AN and this is item number eight in that box pretty simple for us we're running out of space because we have 11 or 1200 pieces listed in three or four weeks of clothing here's the bags that sold that bag here's the Orvis bag and then I forgot to show you guys this bag which is interesting um, it's by like Moonlight Creations it's like a little like decoupage kind of bag sold for $24 here are the press photos these are all an average of 10 bucks a piece uh, 10 to $12 and you can see we have a stack of them there so the way we do these is this stack over here are all singles. They go from the top of the list down, so it's easy for her to grab, pull, pack, and ship. These are du doubles, triples, up to five pieces in an order. And we make those into a second stack, and it's by the top of the list down, so that it's easy for her to choose to pack, pull, and ship. So that's it for today. I just wanted to give you guys a what sold. A total of a little, right around $7,000 from Friday on. But that does include two days of auctions, which were $1,500 total, and that includes two items that were $1,500. So we did about $4,000 in sales, not including Facebook or those two larger items that brought more money. So pretty interesting. Good weekend. We're hoping that sales keep picking up uh, for fourth quarter. Get out there, do some work, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell notification to see more videos. So this is our What's Sold. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great weekend.